It was mid-morning when Wood went out of a crash landing at the Huanara International Airport. It involved a jetliner carrying over 120 passengers. Initial reports suggested heavy casualties. Fire trucks from the Huanara International Airport were first on the scene, seeking to contain the blaze and to attend to passengers who survived the crash landing. What was being tested was the, the response of our fire and emergency team, um, the, the airport police, along with our communication, our communication plan. There were many casualties, some charred by the raging fire. This scenario was created to also test how first responders from emergency services in the south of the island dealt with survivors. We had um, victim care where um, persons, the fire service, the EMTs, um, did the, the search and rescue, they did the triaging, they did the stabilization of the patients or um, the, 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 the passengers who were injured. We also had um, the, an advanced medical post from St. Jude, meaning that the ER department of St. Jude sent a team to the field to triage and stabilize um, the casualties before they were transported to St. Jude. The fire services, police, emergency response agencies, and the management of the airport were all under scrutiny as evaluators monitored the execution of prescribed emergency plans. The plan was to test the responding agencies, the police, ports police, fire service, medical, meaning St. Jude, and the community, um, health centers, and um, wellness centers. And also to test the, um, the airport management response team. At 9.36, firefighting and rescue, it was ongoing. This was also a test of the EOC, the Emergency Operations Center, manned by airport authorities. And they were there to supervise to ensure that there was proper leadership, proper communication and proper coordination. Miraculously, there were uninjured passengers from the ill-fated Air Canada flight. This simulation exercise was also a test of the emergency response plans of the airline. This full-scale emergency drill is an exercise to evaluate the readiness of the airline along with the airport authorities in a real-time setting, which I trust never occurs. The notes of local and regional evaluators were taken into consideration as a debriefing followed. It was a preliminary look at what went well and what did not. We could always improve. There's no system or plan that is perfect. And we're looking to pick up from any any advice that can be given in terms of improving everything from our agency preparedness to our communication. All in all, I think it went very well, but there are lessons learned. There are always lessons to be learned. We're going to the collecting area, straight across there. Slasper holds emergency simulations at both airports on the island. Next year, it will be the turn of the George F. L. Charles Airport.